<laughs> right. Right. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> right. Emails closed. Screen one, screen two. Hello, Boily. We're watching episode one of The Persuasionists. With my, who, so I'm doing who's farted acting. Who's farted, who's farted? Is that what I've typed, Pers Persuasionists? Oh, have you been here, Boily? Okay, all right, well don't show off. Hey, Billy, written any good Billy. slogan. Hey, Emma, you filthy slag. <laughs> line not cancelled how can i be cancelled i'm playing a character it's not me really that's a horrible thing to say no it isn't it's a cockney thing to say <laughs> i'm working on a brief for cockney cheese i have to write a slogan that conveys the excitement and adventure of biting into a piece of cheese that comes from the heart of cockney london target market if you look very carefully i can't really get my hair too long because it gets too thick and i have a little tuft that sticks out here and every time we stop they just come and tuck this little tuft away and there's a little tuft there but i like long hair but it gets too big um oh i think i've still got that shirt i think i stole that shirt um yeah. empty nesters who like dairy products this was great because i could actually read the words i could actually read the words notice very very white cast there's only one black character and who pops in it once and she's a cleaner and we did flag that up and said you can't have the only black person in it as a cleaner. Um, different times. Most particularly, cheese. <laughs> it's brown. Why have they made brown cheese? How have they made brown cheese? It's probably best not to ask how. <laughs> nice watch. mind, Emma, there are no cows in London. <laughs> it smells oddly familiar. So the, I think the joke is that it's made out of shit? Sort of tangy. How are you going to persuade anyone to buy this stuff? Well, you know how it is with slogans. You want to convey the experience. I'm confident here because I know this script. This is episode one. I know this script inside and out, backwards and forwards. I did it once with Harry Enfield. I did it again with Kevin Bishop. Experience of the product in the fewest words I possible. Sentence. I have definitely smelt this before. So, <laughs> how to convey the experience of biting into a piece of cheese from London that's brown and smells of cockney testicles. Oh. <laughs> and what did you come up with? Cockney cheese, leave it out! <laughs> Look, I put nine exclamation marks after the word at to make it seem a bit more modern. And which unlucky account director has to sell this to the client? Please say it isn't me. When a slogan is as good as this, a balloon with a face drawn on it could sell it. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're all out of balloons. Hey, Greg, you ready to sell my slogan? Billy, I am ready to sell. Adam Buxton is brilliant. I got home from work early, went back to bed. I've gone downstairs to watch this on the big TV. Dan, this is for you, my friend. Pat, what are you doing, darling? Don't stand on that. It's a letter from Frank Sidebottom. It's a letter from Frank Sidebottom. And on the back, it's a picture of him reading Samuel Beckett to some Daleks. Lovely, mm, lovely, Chris. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying this, Dan. This is weird. I really thought this was gonna be my comeback. Um, and it wasn't. Directed by um, 
Tristan, 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 who then went off to America. Uh, he was going to go to America straight after this, was going to move to America and ended up directing Community. Imagine, imagine. And you just think, Tristram, Tristram, somebody, give us a job. It's another one of those, give us a job. Let me be in Community. Well, the arse out of your slogan. That's right, I said arse. That's how confident I am. Just try your best, mate. That's all anyone can ask. Cockney cheese. Leave it out. <laughs> Cockneys do say that, don't they? So it's funny because it's true. <laughs> it's like a Tristram Shapiro. Thank you. Yes, Adam Buxton's so good. And I'm sat there thinking, and it's a big old audience, big old audience. And I'm sat there thinking, how the fuck did I end up in kind of like the lead straight role? I'm thinking that while he's talking with Daisy and Adam. How the fuck? Cockney man is out strolling somewhere in Cockney London, probably off to buy a shooter or something like that. <laughs> and he comes across a piece of Cockney cheese and he can't believe it. Cockney cheese? He's directed all six episodes. <laughs> yes, you can, Tobe. Thank you. Also, cheese is much more flavoursome when you leave it out of the fridge. So it's both a very snappy line and a serving suggestion. <laughs> just sell it, Greg. Yes, yes, I will. Just, I will. just sell it, Greg. Sell this slogan. Confident, Greg. No, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> I'm really frightened of the Cockney Cheese client, Cockney Jim. It wasn't filmed at Pinewood. It was filmed in Teddington, I think. Teddington, I seem to remember. Uh, do people really laugh more in an audience? They do. There's a lot of, they, 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 the canned laughter is a slight misnomer. They get the audience to laugh and then they take those laughs and they will drop them in. So yeah, it was definitely, it was definitely boosted quite a bit. He's just so massively cockney. This is the funniest of all the episodes, by the way. Some of the episodes don't even make sense. There's that little tuft there. There's that little tuft. Nice, nice hair though. Look how, look how brown it is. Jeez. This was before I had kids. Before I had kids. And I think I was, I told them I was having, we were having a baby, our first baby during the filming of this. Not one gray hair. Not one gray hair. I sort of, no, I was given the part. They, they wanted me for the part. Loud, friendly, wears a pinky ring. A little bit racist. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a little bit racist. Acting! <laughs> Greg, Clive wants to see us in his office. Come on. How can we dance while the world is turning? He's from New Zealand, but he's playing an Australian character. How can we sleep while our beds are burning? <laughs> How can we dance while the world it's turning. <laughs> How can we sleep? Well, I don't know what to do with my face. A burning. <laughs> Answer the question, Bannister. Um, well, we, we probably couldn't, sir, because of all the crackling and the smoke and the fumes. Don't and... actually answer it, <laughs> orthopedic shoe. <laughs> this is Guys, quite funny. I'm not happy with your work. There's a review of your latest advert in the trade press, and the reviewer really sticks it to you. You wrote this review, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> I know, and it worries me that I did. <laughs> Guys, you haven't sold a good advert since that, um, the one about makeup. Oh, Max Factor, building unrealistic hopes since 1926. <laughs> Sir, I don't like to point the finger, but this is all Greg's fault. That is not true. I can't sell Billy's work because it's never the work the client asked for. Yeah, of course it's never the work the client asked for. They always think their product is amazing. And the best advert is a huge picture of it with the slogan, You am likey this thing. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. They're both brilliant, right? And I can't, I can't act. I certainly couldn't act here. I've just done some filming with... Um, Oh, Diane Morgan for her new series, Mandy. Uh, it's a small part in the last episode, and I play me. Um, I thought you were great in the jungle, Ian. Thank you, Mandy. Um, and uh, I play me playing a phone-in radio host. I think I can, I can say that much. And I kind of move the story along a bit. And I'd be really interested to see 
what it's like. It's, what it, I'd be interested to see if I'm any good in it, really. Because I would like to think, everyone likes to think... Everyone likes to think they can act, right? And then you, you do it, and then you watch it, and you go, oh, I'm like, shit. Did you think the script was funny? As I said earlier, no. I didn't, but everyone else was, was saying it was funny, so I thought I was wrong. What did I know? I thought I was wrong. I mean, I wouldn't have turned it down anyway. We all got favoured nations, which means we all got paid the same, the, the six of us. We all got paid 10 grand for this. <laughs> yeah, but the last time I showed one of your ads to Cockney Jim, he asked, at what point does being creative cross over into actually being gay? <laughs> Good question. Billy, what's the point at which that happens? Um, I think it's when you start having sex with other men, sir. Yeah. It's not a tan, it's just a lot of makeup on. Put a lot of makeup on. Uh, canned laughter is, it's laughter from the audience, but they would certainly have boosted it and they would have dropped... They would have recorded the laughter and dropped it in. So it, it's, it's, it's canned in as much as 10 grand for all six. Um, it's not like from a library of laughter. It's taken from the audience. But yeah, I mean, it's not funny. It's not funny. I thought so. <laughs> OK, guys. I mean, it's quite... I'm enjoying it. I'm give you some advice. It's Aussie advice. So that means top secret. Like that thing about there being no opera house inside the Sydney Opera House. Isn't it? <laughs> opera. In Australia, Greg. I don't think so, mate. <laughs> the building is solid all the way through, like a Toblerone. We only made it as a joke. Uh, your advice, sir. Guys, you're um, familiar with the... Your advice, your mum cusses. Oh, yes. Your mum's like a bowling ball. When she gets fingered, she comes back for more. <laughs> not, not your mum, Mr Johnson. I mean, one's mum. My mum. <laughs> My mum's like a bowling ball. She, she's, she's round. She lives in an alley. <laughs> and for five pounds, anyone can roll with her for half an hour. <laughs> Did I look at the camera there? It's very, very possible. I'm doing who farted acting. My mum's like a bowling ball. She, she's, she's round. She lives in an alley. No, it's just my wonky eye. For five pounds, anyone can roll with her for half an hour. <laughs> Sorry, mum. Guys. Scrum Everyone out. shouts except for me. If you've got a tricky client, sleep with their mum. <laughs> Imagine that you were in some... What year was this? It was the year Michael Jackson died that we recorded it. So whatever year Michael Jackson died, this is when we recorded it. Sort of face off with someone. And then you said, yeah, but I slept with your mum. And you actually had done it. <laughs> There's no coming back from that line. Right, well, I'm glad that's sorted. We'll be on our way then. If you need leverage, sleep with their mum. Unless you need leverage with Greg's mum, then get a crane. Ooh, snap! <laughs> Stop saying Never. years. Fetch me a head-shaped balloon and a marker pen, please. Bad meeting. Oh, no, 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 no. It may have gone out in 2010. It might, I don't know what the, the gap between it, it, it being filmed and being out, but it was definitely filmed because we found out Jackson had died after filming like episode four or something. 1066, yes. Buddy, Keaton has entered the room and it looks like he's got something intriguing to tell us. Simon Farnaby, of course, of Horrible Histories, who's just fucking brilliant. This was originally played by Kevin Bishop. Kevin Bishop did the pilot, one of the pilots, and then uh, didn't come back for some reason. I wonder what it can be. Something intriguing, you say. Gosh, that does sound intriguing. Absolutely <laughs> correct, noisy, close horse girl. Look how slim I am then as well. Slim and dark-haired. <laughs> now riddle me this. Why is it that recently I seem so fantastic? You do that, G, and you'll be cut off. I got my job as head of global. Is it because you've smoked your lunch? <laughs> no. The reason I seem so fantastic is because I've started to carry around with me this. I think he's Dutch. Giant Big pencil. pencil. Big pencil. Is he Dutch? You know how we all make snap judgments about the people we meet? I'm doing it right now. Well, those snap judgments are based on superficial surface details, OK? But if we control the superficial surface details with props... Oh, hello. <laughs> that we can control the snap judgments that people make about us. So when people see your big pencil, what snap judgments are they supposed to make? Well, they immediately assume that I'm an important alpha male and that they should do everything I say. <laughs> and also that I have a large penis. Ah, oh, 
well, that's nice. Hey, Billy, you could get the prop to make you seem creative. These you people know, an were, earring, perhaps. Or... These people were so kind to me. Uh, Daisy was so kind to me. Daisy and Adam in particular, I got on really, really well with. And they were so kind and generous. And Simon and Jared as well. Uh, it was a real nice team. I always felt slightly out of it. They all knew each other, I think, and they were all actors, and I always felt like the outsider, but that's my problem. That's my problem. Um, but they, Daisy and Adam really looked after me in this. Also that they have a large penis. Penis. <laughs> oh, well, that's penis. nice. Hey, Billy, you could get the prop to make you seem creative. You know, an earring, perhaps, or a crack pipe. <laughs> You could get one to make you seem popular. What do you mean I am popular? <laughs> Ginny Recond. It's funny, it's funny. Did you have a stipulation in your contract you'd only do a project if there was someone called Daisy in it, says Pete. Yes, that's my, that's my showbiz contract. In the same way as a kid, I thought that um, Pigsy from Monkey Magic was played by Mickey Dolenz of the Monkeys. This is true, right? And I thought that Mickey Dolenz of the Monkeys had a contract that he could only appear in things that had the word monkey in it. Billy? No, you're not popular. What? What? Why are you taking offence? You're always telling me how much you dislike everyone. I know I dislike everyone, but I still expect them to like me, those bastards. <laughs> Emma, the other girls don't like you. It's to do with the way you look and your personality. <laughs> That's quite funny! Catherine's middle name is Daisy, yes. <laughs> Emma, obviously we like you, but if you don't like anyone else, why do you care if you can't hair. make other friends? You think I can't make other friends? I like friends? that hair. Well, uh... well, you are wrong. You are dead wrong. I'm going to go out there and I am going to make a friend and then he'll be sorry, huh? huh? Is it the person that you tried to make friends with? <laughs> <laughs> See, here's the thing. Everyone is playing kind of over-the-top characters, which is, is, I would suggest, I mean, they're brilliant, right? I would suggest is slightly easier. <laughs> and I was just kind of playing me. I was supposed to be the straight guy. Oh, this guy. This guy. This guy was intense. Trouble with the phone, Jim? I oh, can't get reception. <laughs> this guy was intense. Can't remember his name. He was a nice guy, but very intense. Nice, nice guy. Tall him. buildings, I suppose. No, it's because I just smashed it to pieces on my bed. <laughs> well, I, I've got a Cockney cheese slogan to show you, Jim, and when you see it, I really think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. It, it, it's a slogan that's fast and modern. It's got way too many exclamation marks after it. <laughs> yeah, he was quite, he was quite intense actor. He was, he was good, nice guy. Um, Kath, I just sent you a little WhatsApp, um, but I remember he stopped drinking. And um, so during like the breaks, we'd rehearse in this sort of like village hall for, 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 for this episode, because this was the one we did for ages. And he would go, he just went off and ran for miles afterwards. But nice guy. Cut me cheese, leave it out. <laughs> I don't get it. A Cockney man is strolling along somewhere in Cockney London, down the strand doing a lamb before we having a banana. <laughs> When he comes across some cockney cheese and it surprises him. Cockney cheese, leave it out. Well, yes, that's it exactly. Um, it's also a serving suggestion about the best temperature But to Greg, if he's a cockney man strolling along in cockney London, why would he be surprised to find cockney cheese? Well, he wouldn't, would he? More likely, he'd be delighted because cockney cheese is the best cheese in the world. And I can prove it by stabbing anyone who says it isn't. <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's probably not meant to be read like that. Greg, this slogan is calling me a pilchard right to my face. <laughs> I can't think why you're showing it to me other than you're trying to make me commit some diabolical violence. Jim, let me explain. No, let me explain. I'm going to close my eyes now, and when I open them again, anyone who is still in this room and called Greg is going to get sacked from my account. And by sacked from my account, I mean, it's not really a lot to say about this. Chopped into little bits, cooked in my Breville toaster, then sacked from my account. <laughs> um, Jim, this is silly. Can we do <laughs> I mean, it's weird, isn't it? Hi. 
Hi. This is the funniest of all the episodes, by the way. Uh, it says here that none of you like me, but it doesn't say why. Uh, you said that survey was a secret. This sort of thing is exactly why we don't like you. Ah, lying to people. <laughs> Any other reason? You're vindictive. You're snotty. You walk oh, around person of colour, person of colour. Always playing with your hair. You're rude. Oh, yeah, no, I am a bit, aren't I? Oh, and you're the old woman that looks like an old man. <laughs> Keep down and stride through the agency, carrying his big pencil, and all the girls look on in amazement. They are frightened, and yet excited, too. Hey, <laughs> you girls. Gemma Whelan, who? Who's Gemma Whelan? One of those women? Did one of those women go on to be famous? My name is Kita. There, her, really? Golly gosh. There you go. Uh, be nice to everyone. Be nice to everyone. And I am very strong. Hmm? Look how far I can throw this stapler. Whoa! That's got to be some kind of world record, isn't it? The girl in the black dress is in Game of Thrones too. Okay. <laughs> hey, did you know? You can tell a lot about what someone is like in bed by watching the way they walk through a door. This is funny. Now, excuse me, while I walk through this door. <laughs> oh, 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 my goodness me! Oh, I almost can't fit in! Oh, my God, I'm too big! I'm far too big for this little girl! Oh, 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 oh. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> See, I was jealous of everyone because they had the funny lines. They had the funny lines and, and the funny character and that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it's like soft focus. It is like there's like Vaseline on the lens. I don't quite know why. I mean. You know, you can tell a lot about what a great mate someone would make by watching the way they carry a pot plant. me now <laughs> this is quite funny this is funny say so this is the funniest of all of them I mean they, they get worse but there are some funny bits in this I couldn't I, I got why it, why it wasn't a hit I got why it wasn't a hit I don't get why it got slaughters slaughtered as much as it did I get why it wasn't a hit. It's not great. It's not great. But I don't get... I remember... Do you ever see Lab Rats? Lab Rats was worse than this. Dan, you, you are biased. You love this. Hey, Billy. Acting. I didn't sell that slogan just like you asked me not to. So I suppose we'll have to sleep under the arches and live off cardboard and heroin. <laughs> yeah, I didn't ask you not to sell that slogan, Greg. Not in so many words, but you did say, try your best, that's all anyone can ask. Well, I tried my best. It turns out it just wasn't good enough. Hey-ho, at least I tried. What do you mean, at least I tried? What do you mean, this at least I tried? This Olympics, isn't the Special Greg. Olympics, Greg. This is advertising. Greg. This is advertising. Go and get that slogan sold. Go and get that slogan I sold. I Cockney Jim. He said he was going to cut me into little pieces and cook me in his Breville toaster. Greg, you know these marketing people exaggerate. He'll probably just cut you into medium pieces and chuck you in the canal. <laughs> I've made a friend. The cleaning lady doesn't count, Emma. All right, on your way, Mrs. Thingy. Do I still get my money? Shut up, not in front of him. We all said... We all said... Yeah, and I, I, I hadn't seen that previous scene. You, you, you've got one person of colour, and, it, and, and it's the cleaner. You, 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 you can't. You can't. Yep, there we go. Greg, there's a man looking for you. He's wearing a car coat and he smells of aftershave and cheese. Oh, Christ, it's Cockney Jim. How did he find me? Uh, you work here? Damn, I bloody do as well. Greg, <laughs> Adam's brilliant. Worry, it'll be fine. Just tell him you've listened to his comments, that they were very, very useful, and then show him the exact same slogan, but written in a slightly more amusing type font and with a few more exclamation marks. Billy, that's a brilliant plan. I'm supposed to be the genius. I'm supposed to be the genius here. Hi, 15, everyone. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. I remember that. Greg, the man beyond the man beyond the man beyond the pile of crap I keep getting shown instead of an advertising slogan. How horrible it is to see you, you massive Ken Hall. Hello, Mr. Jim. 
I didn't realise we had a meeting. We didn't. But I was passing in a very slow-moving Cockney funeral cortege. <laughs> Thought I'd step in and see where you got to with my slogan. Then rejoin them about five yards further down the street. Right. Well, Jim, um, we took on board all your comments, and I think you'll like what we've done. I, I don't often use the phrase thunder, 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 cats. <laughs> but when I saw this slogan, that's exactly what I said. And it isn't the same slogan you showed me before, is it? Written in a slightly more amusing type font. Um... Because if you showed me that, I would have to ram my hand so far down your throat I could mug about in your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Adam Buxton's so good, isn't he? So good. What I always say, Jim, it's not about the work, it's about the people. So, let's become really great mates. Or, or as you Stepney gentlemen say, Chinas. Chinas? Yes, let's do it, Greg. Let's get drunk and knife a badger. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> That's what we do in the East End, Greg. We get pissed up on lager. We knife a badger. We chop off its head and plant its skull on a dustbin as a warning to the others. Good. That's great. Oh, I love culture. I'm joking with you, Greg, you big plum duff. Oh, <laughs> I see. Yes, a joke. Ah, oh, jokes are brilliant. Now, come here. We're China's, and China's hug. <laughs> yes, or we could just shake hands enthusiastically. No, Greg, it's time for the man hug. Twenty long seconds of pure man-on-man, -man, close contact, heterosexuality. <laughs> I'm going to close my eyes now, and when I open them again, I want us to be hugging. <laughs> 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 He's worried he's going to get a boner. <laughs> oh, Emma. Are you still trying to make a friend? Because there's a Cockney man in there who loves making them. He's a dead cert. Really? <laughs> I'm going to make a friend. Hello, Governor. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Oh, sir, you wanted to roar at me. Yes, great. Come on in, mate. Come on. Sit down here. There we go. Thank you, sir. Will that be all? Yes. Thanks, Greg. Great. <laughs> <laughs> One more thing. I hear you ran away from a meeting, Greg. What are you, Tom Sawyer? Were you scrumping apples? Were you getting chased by some angry bees? You tried to hug me, sir. And the only time I get that close to someone is when I'm making sweet love with a lady. What if my machinery thought something was happening that wasn't happening? I just thought it was better that I run away and he suspect I was weird than I hug him and he knew I was for certain. <laughs> because my penis had become engorged with blood. <laughs> Yeah, I get the idea, Greg. <laughs> Just disgusted into silence, you sick puppy. <laughs> but I had a brilliant brainwave, sir. I sent Emma to make friends with him instead of me. You sent Emma, the least popular girl in the agency, to schmooze the client instead of you. Greg, give me 13 good reasons why I shouldn't sack you right now. Um, because I'm... Punctual, I'm polite, I'm clean, <laughs> enthusiastic, I'm tough, but fair, I'm mature, I'm kind to animals, I have a winning smile, and I, 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 I can dance the fandango, and, and... Oh. And you love throwing things at me, sir. OK, Greg, you're boring. Get back to your desk and sell that slow... Daryl, they, they might have changed it from Kevin to Jared because at the time Daryl Lyons was a big thing, wasn't he? The pick pictures guy. I don't know what that means, but Kevin replaced Simon. There you go, Paul. The, the universes have linked up. You're watching Press Gang. If you bum rust. <laughs> he's funny, he's ambitious, he smells of musky cheese. Hey, Emma. Who's that you guy? You made friends with Cockney Jim. I didn't just make friends with him, Greg. I went one better. I got off with him. Now who's the popular one, huh? Rachel? Rachel, who is it? My name's Josephine. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> wow. Look at you, Emma. Getting ahead by using your body. Just like a prostitute does. 
it's so sexist. Why? Because I'm a woman and I don't like it. Sorry. So, um, does this mean that you can get Cockney Jim to buy the slogan? Could anyone refuse this face? Well, those girls did earlier when you wanted to be friends, and there was that time you tried to snog the post boy. Yeah, shut up, shut up, Greg. All right, the answer is no, no one. These two are brilliant. These two are brilliant. I want to see them in something that's actually really, really good, because I think they're so good. They were so nice to me, so nice to me. Could refuse. Lovely this people. Face. So, I'll leave the slogan with you, and you'll definitely sell it then. Yeah, yeah. Just leave it with me, and my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little bit racy. Well done, boys. <sighs> I five Emma. Were you just talking to your stuff? I five Emma. <laughs> wow, I've never I fived after sex before. No nipples. No nipples. No nipples. No nipples. We all played the right same. <laughs> well, anyway, I saw that new slogan from the agency. <laughs> Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's not funny at all. And now that I have let you sleep with me, I want you to get it fixed. You let me sleep with you? Yeah. <laughs> I could see that you wanted some of the gym. What girl doesn't? <laughs> and I figured a hoity-toity bird like you might be good for my image, like Beckham marrying Posh Spice. You are sleeping with me to advance your career. That's right. With your help, I'm going to sell... Fucking loads of cockney cheese to the middle classes. Then everyone in the East End will love me and I'll be crowned king of pearly London. What I think you've done there, Jim, and it's a mistake a lot of people make, but what I think you've done there is you've gone mad. <laughs> <laughs> Half time's over, Emma. Back on a pitch. Back on a pitch, Emma. Don't say that. It's not a game of football. And as it's the second half, we're changing ends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm finding this quite funny. Strip patches, strip patches. Oh, have I just broken that? There we go. Got a whiteboard here now, so I can write stuff on that I will never do. Yeah, yeah, it definitely feels um, out of it, out of time, Chris. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely feels out of time. Here's the thing, right? If I remember this correctly, 2009 when this was filmed, The Office had killed studio sitcoms, right? This is how I remember it. The Office had killed studio sitcoms, in, you know, what they call multi-camera sitcoms, right? Where it's a fixed set, there's an audience, and there's four or five cameras filming it. Call it multi-cam sitcom. Friends is a multi-cam sitcom. Uh, and The Office had killed that, and everything was, was reality, everything was, nothing was done in front of an audience. Um, now, the producers behind this, Damon Beasley in particular, had produced and written The Inbetweeners, uh, which had been, obviously, was huge. And they thought the time for the multicam sitcom was coming back. So they were looking for a studio-based multicam sitcom because they thought that um, the uh, whole... The reality, shaky camera, office stuff was on its way out and, and we were going back that way. So this is what this was. Bad news, guys. Oh, by the way, subscribe if you're enjoying this. Subscribe, guys. Um, if you've got an Amazon Prime, you can link it to Twitch. Jeff Bezos bought two properties, one for like $150 million and another one for $70 million. He doesn't give a shit about you. But if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch... Uh, you can subscribe to me for free. I get five pounds. Five pounds you would never get your hands on. So you can do that. Um, also, if you haven't got that, you can subscribe. Oh, if you do the Amazon Prime, you have to resubscribe every month. It won't do it automatically. So you might want to check to see if your subscription has run out. If it has, I'd be very grateful if you'd subscribe again. If you haven't got Amazon Prime, you can pay a fiver to subscribe. Or you can throw some bits. Or you can donate. PayPal dot me slash Ian Lee. PayPal dot me slash Ian Lee. The fun continues. Cockney Jim is sleeping with me to advance his career. Why would he do that? You're That's a nice, that is a nice t-shirt. 
That is a nice T-shirt. He's Cockney and he mistook that for actual power. You His career. Oh, sorry. No. God. I know I'm not, but I always act like I am. And anyway, I'm posh and I've got nice hair and he's Cockney and he mistook that for actual power. You haven't sold the slogan either, have you? No. Oh, oh God. My name is Keith um, And anyone who doesn't want to have sex with me had better hurry on out the back there. <laughs> but you're only delaying the inevitable. Keith and Wick kind of in the middle of something here? Billy, do you know how much cheek I'm getting? Look how slim I am. Oh, well. I think I've reached chick tipping point. I don't even have to chat them up anymore. The ladies just feel they have to get off with me because that's what ladies do. Like a life stage on the road to womanhood. You know, Keaton, I am really going to miss you when you go to prison. You know, that gives me an idea, Keaton. Could you recommend a prop for me to help me overcome my fear of Cockney Jim? Of course I could, Greg. I'm always happy to help my friends. I'm like Jesus in that respect. And in some other ways, too. <laughs> That's a funny line! <laughs> Jesus. I'm enjoying this. It's better than I remember. Oh, Greg. Ah, Billy I couldn't get this right. I could not get this bit right. I remember this bit. And Tristram Shapiro, the director, I couldn't get this bit right. And in the end, he said, be Basil Fawlty. We kept doing this bit again and again and again. He said, be Basil Fawlty. I think they cut it short in the end, this scene, because I just couldn't get it right. You think you're brave, but I'm really brave. Oh, God. Look at my mad, unblinking eyes. They've got success written all over them. Greg, please tell me you're not drunk. I'm not drunk. OK, but are you drunk? It's my new strategy for success. Greg, getting drunk isn't a strategy. It's what you do when you run out of strategies. <laughs> How did this happen? Keaton recommended a prop to give me courage. The keg of beer, shouting tramp strength. Greg, you know you've got a meeting book with Cockney Jim, don't you? Mm. I'm powerful and virile, Billy. You know the Lion King? That was based on me. Don't tell anyone, or they will become a feared. What's going to happen when we put you in front of the client? I'm strong like the mighty oak. All right, shut up. I need to think. Oh, I've been thinking too, Billy. I've been thinking, why am I afraid of these cockneys with their cheeriness and their cups of tea? Secretly, they are a nervous people. Acting, acting, I'm acting, classes. I'm acting. In fact, they want to become acting. like us. It's me acting. And once they've become like us, they want to move to St. Albans and buy their daughter a pony. <laughs> right, great, right. okay. I'm there we go, this is it, the Basil Fawlty bit. He said, be Basil Fawlty, be Basil Fawlty. Secretly, they are a nervous people. Right, right, that's it, right, the I'm out, silly. In fact, they want to become like us. And once they've become like us, they want to move to St. Albans and buy their daughter a pony. Right, great, right, OK. I'm going to go and sell the slogan to the client myself. And Keaton got us into this mess. Keaton can help get us out. Hey, uh, can you lend me some people a cup of tea? I'll give it back to you. Don't walk away from me! I exist! I am a person too! <laughs> Sniffing my knuckles. Always sniffing my knuckles. Nice t-shirt. Did you get it done? She smelled the marzipan and then she wanted to taste the raisins. Great. <laughs> well done, mate. <laughs> He's coming. Look powerful. Here we go. Billy! You dress wearing out a class lady. Jim. Uh, Keaton! You crazy Frenchman. Look at me I'm acting. With... Keaton. Look at me acting with the guy from Horrible History. He's in the guy from Press Gang. That's right. All foreign people are French. <laughs> Actually, um, before we start, Jim, Keaton has got some news which I think might have an impact on this meeting. Keaton. Thank you, Billy. Yes, Jim. <clears throat> Rather interesting. Fuck off, Lanky. Interestingly, since we last met, I've had your mum. <laughs> what? I've had your mum. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, you know your mom, as in your mom jokes. Well, I've had her. You had sex with my mom? Yep. 
But she, she, she's a old lady. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> I expect this leaves you feeling pretty wrong-footed, doesn't it, Jim? <laughs> well, why would you do that? Can I take that one? You see, Jim, like most foreign people, Keaton is a colossal pervert. <laughs> Some mornings he can hardly get his trousers on, isn't that right, Keaton? <laughs> I'm crazy with the continental urges. So he saw your mum, instinct kicked in, and he gave her the seeing to of her long, cockney life. Well, well that's disgusting. I touched her shame place. <laughs> but I think the point is that we have got a lot to get through today, and while there's going to be a certain amount of toing and froing, hopefully Thank we you, can Blair. cut through most of that by always remembering that Keaton has had your mum. I've had your mum. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me you had sex with my mother? In order to sell an advert. Yep. Anyway, if as a result of this news you begin to view Keaton as some sort of father figure and you want to take his Look advice, at my hair. Mr. Jim, I really think you should go with that. But like my that. father is my father figure, not this imbecile. Ah, yes. George has gentle hands. <laughs> <laughs> what? Too insane! Sorry, so you don't feel particularly more inclined to approve our slogan as a result of these revelations, then? You slept <laughs> with my mum. If it's any consolation, Jim, I'm a very considerate lover. <laughs> Shut up! Do you know what? I think you're probably not going to buy anything today, are you, Jim? No. So maybe, maybe Keaton and I should just leave in disgrace. Yes, that's a good idea. Yeah, because I don't think this meeting can get any worse. I'm not afraid of you, Cockney Jim. I'm brave. Oh, but suddenly it does. <laughs> I'm going to hug you, Albert Square Man. So help me, I'll do it. What are you doing, Greg? I'm brave. I'm brave! Get off me! Oh, we're hugging! Ah. We're hugging! Ah. We're hugging! Ah. Oh, dear, my machinery thought something was happening that wasn't happening. <laughs> I've done a bad thing. Hmm. Is this how you thought the plan would work out, Billy? Seems like a very strange way to hand in your notice. <laughs> uh, Keaton sleeps with our client's mum. Greg? Gets drunk and tries to hug forward slash. This is right weird. Him. Me acting. And Billy Hitchens. I will do, Tom. Thank you. Thing. Now, normally. Thank you. I like to let my boot do the talking and your asses do the listening. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to use an idea of Keaton's. Props. Oh, well done, Keaton. Billy, I want you to wear this. I'm with stupid, and there's an arrow pointing up at me. It's because you're stupid, Billy. Do you get it? You have the whole... <laughs> or are you too stupid? <laughs> Greg, got you a bread bin. Oh, what's that for, sir? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that big pencil of yours, Mr. <laughs> 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 I think this... Is a bit more appropriate. <laughs> oh, my powers draining from me, fading away like tears in the rain. How did it go? My pencil looks like it just thought about Jody Marsh. <laughs> still got our jobs. <laughs> Take that, Justice, you crazy blind woman. And I also have good news. Cockney Jim has dumped me and he said he just wants to be friends. Hey, so you made a friend? Yep. Oh, and to show there's no hard feelings, he gave me this. Cockney chocolate. But it's yellow. Why have they made yellow chocolate? How have they made yellow chocolate? <laughs> Smells strangely familiar. <laughs> I'm frightened. <laughs> Here we go. And we end it there. It's like you're supposed to be the lead guy in this mad office, but the script hasn't really established you as the lead! Correct! Four o'clock all of a sudden. Where did the day go? Um, let's just get the name up. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm 
frightened. This is the modern... There we go. Um, I, it was better than I remember it. That's the best episode. That is the best episode. It wasn't as bad. You know, it wasn't great. 2009, that was filmed. It wasn't great. It certainly didn't deserve the vitriol that it got. I remember we had a screening of it, of like a private members club or a hotel in London. And loads of press came, including um, Jamie East. Um, and, you know, it was met with, it was met with pretty much silence. Thank you, Dan. We'll do it again. I've got the other five. Um, Dan actually liked the series. I don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Looking back. Looking back. Looking back over my shoulder. Oh, yeah. Looking back. Looking back. Hmm, over my shoulder. No, not no, 11 o'clock show, Sunday night, uh, no, uh, 8 p.m. Is there any way to purchase The Persuasionists? I really enjoyed that. It's well out of stock. It never came out on DVD. They never released it. They did have me in mind for that specific role, yes. Um, here's, the th here's the thing. I don't know what I am. I don't know what I am. And I don't know where to go what to think, what to do. I don't know. I'm not an actor. Acted 11 years ago, did a little bit of acting a couple of weeks ago, but that's it. Radio host, I suppose so, but what is that? And also I don't think what m me and Catherine are doing, I mean, it's radio, but it doesn't really fit. It, it, it never came out on DVD. They put the link up thinking it would be a huge success and then it never happened. Um, what am I? What am I? At the moment, I'm a guy that's got to make three grand a month to pay my mortgage and pay my, um, uh, you know, divorce settlement. Um, a creator, Dan, creator. Oh, there's no sort in the wound. I've, I've got over the persuasionist wounds a long, a long, long time ago. It was just another, it just felt like at the time, another in a long line of things not quite working out. You know what I mean? Another in a long line of things just not quite working out. Listen, I have to make a quick phone call because I see my kids are called. And... Um, I need to pee and I need to make a coffee. Then we'll play some games. We'll play some games. Shall I, shall I play? Let me play a little video for a few minutes. Two minutes. Guys, if you want to stick around for some games, stick around and play Spelunky. And, um, yeah. Oh, there's a TV Choice magazine on eBay. Walking Wounded, could you send me the link? Because I would love to get that. I'm, I'm trying to buy up a lot of 11 o'clock show stuff, but it never comes up. Could you, um, let's have a look. Let me have a little look, sees. Without displaying my email address. Because I would, there's no email address there, is there? No. Right. So we go to ebay.co.uk. What am I typing in? TV choice. What, am I, what do I have to, oh, you've got it.
got the persuasionists in it. Ninty News, gosh. Um, all right, I don't have my login. Kath, you still there? Because I'm not allowed to use eBay. I've given my login to Catherine because I don't trust myself. Let me, right, let me email that. To Catherine. I was offered the big breakfast, I never did it. Um, if any, um, oh, it's a thing. Oh, it's a thing. No, this is my history. My history is a thing. Definitely. Right. Listen, watch a video. It'll be two minutes. I'll make a coffee. I've got to phone my kids up. Then we're going to play some games. Take eight. Oh, I rewrote the lyrics. I'm trying to include as many people in the Twitch Sings community as I could. I'm sorry if I miss you. It's a duet. There's only so many lyrics. Do a solo someday. That took long enough. It's been written eight. by Billy Joel. You don't, Billy Joel, the famous songwriter. You're a guy that wears an and chill t shirt. Peter Crane, Killer Jane, Jay Mutt is a pain Super happy puppy food, Adam is a cool dude Mojo Man is majestic, so is Dougie and Blue Velvet Bucket now joins the fray, joining streams as he may Um, here's my plan I'm gonna do, at some point soon I'm gonna do Twitch as a full-time job, nine to five, baby, nine to five. Dum 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 dum. dum. Come outside. You see, it's it's not quite so glamorous with the soundproofing on the door. If you come outside, this is the iconic. Big Brother Eye logo, it's a lady's eye, or, or a gentleman with long lashes, um, and this is where the celebrities will be coming in from nine o'clock tonight, and look at these, these are the actual stairs. I'm walking downstairs on a live television programme, what could possibly go wrong? This guy standing here, he's a bit of a twat, he is singing lyrics that don't make no sense. Billy Joel has won awards, maybe won an Oscar too. He wrote the song, so why can't we sing that? We didn't start the fire. No, it was was created since it was in beta. We didn't you can't start change the, the lyrics to the bit that we duet on because I don't know what you're singing. She's hot but a psycho, a little bit psycho. Horrible, my horrible teeth. Right, this this tooth is chipped, and this tooth is chipped from this tooth is chipped from when I was sixteen and got drunk. Right, first time ever, absolutely steaming. And um, my friend didn't think I was drunk. I said I'm drunk. And I lay on the floor. She jumped on my head and proved how drunk I am. I don't remember any of this, and they did and they chip that tooth. Hello and welcome to the Late Night Alternative Rabbit Hole election special, the show too hot for radio to handle. A few technical issues here as it is a brand new 2.5 million pound studio. Good evening, my name is Ian Lee and I'll be helped out tonight by my co-host, Catherine Boyle. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, 
people watching and it's election night Woo! um let's do some democracy <laughs> He's leaving me hanging. He's thank you. He left me hanging. Keith, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you. There's a rock. Hiya. Hey, yeah, I'm back. We've got for lunch coffee, frazzles, and a tonics tea cake. And this is the modern way. I enjoyed that. Thanks, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Let's play again. Oh, it's freezing in this house, though. Fre -fre 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 freezing. So we're going to go here. We're going to play Spelunky. Save. Uh, who cares? Just go away. Go away. Save. Go away. Uh, no. Go away. Go away. Don't save. Go away. Right. Spelunky. Filming first time setup. Installing. Okay. Well, this is the modern way. Oh, there's not as many packets in here as thought because I put the empty packets in here last night. Have a nice afternoon. I'll do some ASMR. Yeah, I hope I like it as well, Ollie. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. Let's do some mukbang ASMR. Love wheat crunchies. Right, so this. Hang on. No, no, don't do that. No, don't do that. Why is it doing that? Error on device. Fuck. Okay, we'll try again. <laughs> Jerking. Can I play on my Xbox controller? Remote play together. Well, maybe. It's a cruel, cruel summer. Leaving me here on my own. How do I make it bigger with the desert? You can't see this. That's why. Okay, this game looks shit. Recommended to me by Boglet Hermit. Looks absolutely shit. I'd like to thank Kate Cakes for paying for this game. This looks. Absolutely shit. I'm good, Retro. How is the volume? Right. First of all. Hey, Paul, thank you for the subscription. Thank you, mate. Nice one. I'm gonna make this, the screen bigger.
No. Well, hang on, what do I do here? Full screen. Will that do it? Well, that hasn't changed anything. Hey, thank you, Paul. I appreciate it. Res up to 2560. Okay, but that doesn't change anything. How does that not save? Why does that not? Okay, well now, but it doesn't save. I got 64 kil kilobytes of RAM, Pete. Do it, then back out. Yeah, so I've done. Then you go there and it changes again. What are you saying? Hit Alt and Enter. But apply screen press on. What? Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Up to no. Oh! Oh, baby, now. You begin the game with four health. If you get rid of that, if you run out of health, your expedition will come to an end. Ropes let you reach high ledges. Thank you, Blur. And descend safely into pits. Press Y to throw one. Tunnocks, everybody. What? Let's play. Let's play. Ollie recommended this game. If it's shit, we're still loving because we're hashtag being kind. He's a nice guy. Was Alex from Thumbband? Is she brilliant? I love her. She's yeah, she was really into games more than me actually. She's a really nice uh, human being, and I love her a lot. I don't really work back. Greetings. My name is Yang. Mm. Ollie's got me to play a racist game. This is my journal. Hashtag be kind, everyone. Be kind. I'm not doing well. She's a yes, a doctor. Dusty maps and rumours of amazing treasures led me here. Boring. There's something very strange about this place. This layout seems to change all the time. I've never seen the same room twice. Ollie, I want to play Halo Wars in a bit. My phone. Just in case I didn't get through to my kids, so just in case my kids call again. George, you're coming up. You don't cl you don't use your claws, you jump. Okay. Once the, uh, they set traps. Okay. I push the idea out of my mind and focus on the treasure instead. If I master the basics of movement and combat, I know I'll leave here a rich man. I'm in. Who's this guy? Naughty boy. Okay, this is easy. This is like a game for babies, right? So it's a babies game. It's a game, game for babies. Matty, I will destroy Ollie Halo Wars. Honestly, Ollie, do you want a game of Halo Wars in a bit? Oh, can we change mods? Can we change the game title, please?
This is quite boring. So I just do this shit, right? Hang on, that was that, wasn't it? Oh. Oh. I don't really care about that. Hello, Georgie boy. Okay. I've done that, I've learned that. Whatever. Yeah. George, out the way, love. Got a cat in front of me that you guys can't see. He's in front of the screen. with a bag on his head cat with a bag on his head you idiot cat with a bag on his head please don't do it again George you've done it you just did exactly the same thing again now you got frazzles all over the table you prick fuck's sake man go away you got frazzles everywhere dude what the fuck are you thinking what were you thinking, man? Come on, you can eat those. Okay, so we just keep going down now. Yeah, I am writing for Retro Gamer, yes. Oh, shit. I'm out of bombs. Well, now what do I do? I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Am I stuck? Do ropes. Thank you, Ollie. I quite, I do like this game. I just don't do the, I don't have the patience for this kind of stuff. George, mate, I love you so... Oh, that was stupid. Oh, it was very clever. George! Mate!
Well, how do I get out of here? Do I have to blow up here? The door back down. Here. Is this the door? Oh, it's the door. Guys. Cats everywhere. Okay. Is this, have I done the tutorial now? So I really want to play Halo Wars. Tutorial finale. George! Oh, sugar! But what is that showing me? That's nothing. That's silly. Oh, Jesus! Get that, I'm not... What are you doing? Don't, don't walk on the keyboard! Did I win? I won. Game over. Easy. That was um, finished. Easy. Right. What's next? First game I've ever completed. We're going to play Halo Wars now. Ollie, Halo Wars. I've got cats, cats. You're really getting on my tits. Thank you, guys. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. Halo Wars, Ollie. Please don't tread on the keyboard. Dude, 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 dude. Off. There are no more crumbs. Goodbye. Right, how do I play um, Halo Wars? Where's Halo Wars? Where's Halo Wars? No. Fuck! No! Where's Halo Wars? You've done something to the keyboard so it doesn't work. Right, it doesn't work. Right, off. Honestly, off. Getting on my tits. Goodbye. Thank you, George. What have they done to it? 
They've done a weird setting. Start menu. Yeah, I've gone there, but it won't let me type. It won't let me type in here. Function and unlock key. What does that mean? No, it, now it is locked. Right. I can hear the high pitched clicks. What does that mean? Hmm. It won't let me. What have these cats done? Here we go. Control Alt Delete doesn't. Nothing works. George, man, what have you done, dude? Nothing works. Control Alt Delete doesn't work. Oh, no, I have locked it. Bottom right corner, settings. Press shift five times. I've done that. One, two, three, four, five. Bottom right hand corner, settings, unlock keyboard. Windows security, NVIDIA, Steam, Skype, Epic. Xbox. Let's just go here. Right. Halo Wars. Play. Now, how do I make it full screen? In the settings. All right. Ollie, you on? This is bullshit. What have you done to my keys? It's wireless, I've switched it off and I've switched it on. Ollie, get in the game. Get in the game. That just does the volume. Right, right, Ollie. Get in the game. This is all mind games. Get in the game. You're vomiting. Did someone just send me an invite? <laughs> I 
I might be on a different account. 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 Right, here's what's going to happen. And it ain't going to be pretty. Hang on, I can do this. Hang on, stay with me. Because I need to log out. Right. I can't! I'm going to log out. And then we're going to log in. Fuck knows what you've done. The keyboard isn't locked! It's not locked! I can lock the keyboard! It isn't locked! It isn't locked! So you can all fuck off! It doesn't count as a fucking win, Ollie. We're playing. How did I get that to work? Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to turn my computer off and turn it on again. 